Today is the first day of National Moth Week, celebrating the beauty, life history, and habits of moths. Mothers of all ages are encouraged to participate in observing and even documenting moths. I'd like to take you along with me today so you can see some activities that you could participate in too. You can also visit our website's Moth Week page under events to see how to participate with us through iNaturalist and check out our observations throughout the week. I also recommend visiting the official Moth Week website, nationalmothweek.org, for more tips, information, even finding events in your area. So it's 12 p.m. and a perfect time to start looking for one of my favorite moths. I know what some of you are thinking. Megan, are you crazy? It's 12 p.m., the middle of the day. It's not nighttime. Well, there's a diurnal moth or a day-flying moth that frequents Sonoma County and it's often mistaken for a butterfly because of its beautiful coloring. You'll often see it in flight around cattle pastures or sheep pastures, hence its name, the sheep moth or its Latin name, Hemiluca eglinterina. So I wasn't able to witness them in flight today, but I was able to find one of their caterpillars, which are equally as impressive. When looking for these caterpillars, make sure to be careful of the spines on their backs that they use for protection. If touched, they can cause a mild itch or burn. Once this caterpillar is ready to pupate, it will dig under the ground and make a dirt blanket with silken thread. Over a few days, the body will shrink before the larval skin is shed, revealing the pupa. This moth is often mistaken for a butterfly because of its bright, beautiful coloring. The adults of these moths do not have mouths. All the energy they need was accumulated as a hungry caterpillar. Their main purpose as an adult is to mate and reproduce. They live as flying adults only for a few days. In the next few weeks, keep your eyes out when you're on the outskirts of town along country roads of Sebastopol and Santa Rosa for these moths to emerge. If you happen to catch a photo, we would love to see it and add it to our database for Lepidoptera of Sonoma County. Another diurnal moth to keep your eyes out for is called the Sinucha moth. Unlike the sheep moth, these species do have a mouth or a proboscis like that of a butterfly. They can often be seen nectaring and pollinating on flowers. I've seen them on asters, even budlia, and members of the carrot family and their habitats include coastal grasslands and marshes. Sometimes if you just take a moment and slow down when you're walking around and look around you, you'll be able to find moths hiding in various plants or even on the sides of buildings where they were attracted to the light the night before. Here is a mottled pyrosta moth on a California poppy. Sometimes we'll find moths where we don't want to find them such as caterpillars of the tomato hornworm in our tomato plants. This caterpillar will actually turn into a moth that is loved by many. This family of moths is, as adults are often called hummingbird moths or sphinx moths. We're gonna go ahead and let this caterpillar stay here. Oftentimes, if your tomato plant is already large and thriving, the only damage these caterpillars will cause is cosmetic. Now it's about 8.40 right now and it's starting to get darker. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a couple of UV light stations. First of all, if you'd like to keep it simple or don't have the UV light equipment, you can simply turn on your porch light and see who shows up. There's many different options for setting up a UV light station for attracting moths. Here we have a regular black light or UV light bulb. You can get at any hardware store with a clamp light. And the other option that we'll be using is a professional grade UV light from BioQuip. Once you've decided on the UV light you'd like to use, the rest of the setup can be simple. We have tied a rope across two points and hung a basic white flat sheet and put another sheet on the bottom so some moths will fall on the ground and you can observe them there. 
While waiting for moths to visit the UV stations, there's another fun activity to try. With a UV light flashlight, you can look for caterpillars. There are some moth caterpillars that will actually glow when lit up by a black light or UV light. This is a caterpillar of the Aikman Sphinx. While walking back to the UV light stations, I ran into a Sphinx moth nectaring on evening primrose. To see what moths we observed on Saturday night and throughout the week of Moth Week, please visit our Moth Week page on our website's event portion.